All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, it's Monday morning. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are full full time resellers <laughs> in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. And we did an experiment over the weekend, as you could probably tell by the thumbnail or the title. We tried to jumpstart our eBay store by ending and selling similar. 500 items and we're going to tell you what all the happened? details we're going to yeah. tell you all the parameters we're going to tell you all the details and we're also going to show you what sold over the weekend that's right you ready to go Don? i'm ready all right let's get into it okay if you've joined us before then you know kind of what we're about if you're new here Thank you all for watching. Oh my goodness. And if you've been here since day one, we just watched a few of our day one videos. Dude, they were cringy. We went back <laughs> and we we're looking at all the old videos, just like scrolling through on the TV. And we picked one from like two years ago oh, man. where we went to Texas for a football game yeah. and we watched the video and we couldn't make it through the video. It was so bad. So to all of you, and we know that includes our moms. Yeah. My mom, your I, mom. Our moms included. And our kids probably watched. Anybody that's been watching so, from the beginning or, you know, oh the man. first year, year and a half. Ruth and Larry have been. Thank you for well. sticking around because we're still not very good, but it's at least bearable. <laughs> like, that was so bad. But anyway, um, yeah. do you want to get into this? Sure. All right, I'm going to explain how this happened because and then we're going to show you what sold like while this happened and while I did this. Okay. Normally when we do a sold, I start at the bottom of the list and we go in order. Like mm -hmm. So basically Friday afternoon and it's all in order up until where we're at right now. We're not going to do that because I'm not going to make you wait. Uh, we did these changes Sunday morning about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And I want to explain the parameters, but we're going to jump right in with like Sunday sales as we go. So first thing, we're going to start in Sunday. We woke up and we had three sales from overnight, okay. uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So we're going to show you those three first. All right. The first one, Donna, is in box 99. Let's get it. 99. All right. In here, you're going to find a fire engine. It's a fire truck. It's a toy fire truck. It's FH27 right here. This came from the fire buy, fireman buy, firehouse buy. The paper's really loud. It's okay. Yeah, we learned in the last video that the crinkling paper was really, really bad. Yeah. But we, this isn't won't be as bad. We're going to try to keep editing some of that out. So this is apparently a fairly rare old fire truck. And this is a Majorette uh, number 612 ladder fire truck. And this sold for $24.99. Nice. Oh, and where's it going? We oh. have not looked up any addresses. Yeah, where's it going? Oh, this is going to Thailand. That's new. Yeah, this is going overseas and it's going to Thailand. Okay, but I have to make sure I spell it properly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thailand. Thailand is now on the board. Okay. And then also while we were sleeping, one in box 84 sold. And in 84, you're looking for two Churchill Blue Willow 8-inch soup bowls. Ah. All right, there we go. Um, that says we got them at a thrift store. So $3 for the box, for a box of dishes. Oh, yeah, we got a whole box of these. Okay. And they were in very good condition. All right, those so those two sold, sold for $12.99, and they're going to Massachusetts. All right, box LR is next. LR. Anyway. Okay. All right, in here you're going to find four Pyrex white milk glass green Crazy Daisy mugs. spring blossom mugs. Four? Yep. Okay. Four right there. We'll open that up and show you. All right. That right there is a Crazy Daisy Pyrex uh, cup, right? Yep. And that is going to Arizona, and that sold for $34.03 plus shipping okay and then sunday morning after we were up there was one more thing that sold a very old item and it it was on sale for 30 percent off and somebody offered three bucks for it and we went ahead and took it and we'll grab that now all right right there go with the green john deere service coffee mug that sold for three dollars and it is going to texas okay all right it is at this point in our day on sunday that um, our eBay slow store has been kind of slow. We tried an experiment. Tried an experiment. <laughs> I want to explain all the parameters so you know exactly the basis on all this is every, all the circumstances on which this is based. So 
what we do month to month, we run a sale for everything over one year old and we do 30% off. And then we just renew it every month. Every month we get about two to $300, I'd say we average in sales from that sale. So in our store, we have uh, almost 1,300 listings. So like, I don't remember, 570 or so are on this sale because they've been listed over a year. So what I did was I went in and I wanted to make, I wanted to try this. We never, ever, 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 ever end and sell similar. We used to do the five a day and stuff, but we never really saw the benefit to it. And when we stopped doing it, it really did not affect anything. It, the sta sales stayed pretty much the same. So we haven't done that in a long, long time. So we hear and we talk to people and they say that some people do bulk. They do a whole bunch of things in their store. They end and sell similar. So I thought if we're going to do this, if we're going to try this, let's do it with a big enough, a big enough, uh, sample base to really see some results. So I decided we're going to take 500 of our oldest listings. That is almost half of our entire store, 500 of our entire listings. Uh, I went in and I ended them all. What it, was the oldest and what was the newest in that group? Uh, the oldest was from 2021, so like three years ago. And the newest, I can't remember. Honestly, I'd have to look, go look. Mm -hmm. But we took those 500 listings, I ended them all, and I changed a few things on it. First thing I changed is when I put them on sale, I take offers off. And, because, and the reason for that is because some of this stuff is like, five to ten dollar listings we don't like listing that cheap anymore but some of this like is five seven dollar items so if i'm taking 30 percent off i really don't want to field offers for three dollars like the coffee mug right mm -hmm. so i took a, take offers off on a lot of stuff i turned offers on for all of the items that i was taking you know took them all down and then i turned items offers on and then the second thing i did i lowered i just did it bulk uh, select all or whatever. I lowered the price for each item 15%. All of these 500 items were on sale for 30% off. But since we took them down and we sold similar, they all get new items. They're all like brand new items. I mean, it's the same pictures and everything, but they're brand new listings. So I thought if I lower the price 15%, you know, whatever, and I turned offers back on, then, you know, whatever. Let's see what happens. Also in the options, all these items were promoted at a 7% rate. I know some people that promote higher than that. I know some people promote lower than that. I know some people don't promote at all. So when I looked at that, I thought, what should I do with this? I don't know if I wanna, because here's what we do for promoted listings. We don't promote anything until it's been on for two to three months. And then I'll go through in one bulk time every few months and I'll promote everything at 7%. I don't do the where it varies and all that because some of these things they want like 13, 14% and it's just ridiculous. So I do 7% across the board. So all these items were listed 7% promotion. I didn't, I thought if I take it off, I'll get penalized from eBay. That's my thinking, right? So what I did, I lowered it to 2% because that's what we used to do. We used to do, when, it, when you could do 1% promoted listings, we did 2% and that's just where we left it and it worked great. Once they got rid of 1%, then we went up to like four and now we've been at seven for probably a year and a half. So that's, that's the parameters we did. Took them all down, relisted them 15% off and turned offers on and 2% promotion for 500 items and we got done with it and it was about 11 in the morning and we were ready for orders to start rolling in. So now we're gonna go through the what solds from Sunday from that point on and we're gonna show you how this went. First thing about uh, half an hour after we did this change, uh, got an offer and we sold a package of vintage t-shirts in box B. We got an offer right here for vintage old t-shirts. Got these in an estate sale and I took an offer for $20 and this is going to Oregon. So these are going out. This was not part of the renew listings. These were newer than one year old. Okay. Okay, right after that, like five minutes later, we got an offer for one of the old listings, the new old listings. And it is in box 10 and it's from the bins. Let me grab that. All right, in here we have it's a little package of Build-A-Bear. It's a little pair of shorts of Build-A-Bear 
shorts and a baseball glove. We got these at the bins, so we paid like next to nothing because these don't weigh like hardly anything. Uh, these were originally ten dollars and plus shipping. So when we renewed them, it went to eight fifty, eight forty nine is what it went to with the fifteen percent off. Somebody sent an offer for five dollars. Easy to list, easy to ship. You know, I don't want to sell five dollar items all day long, but I will take that and get these moving. So we took that five dollars going to Texas right here. So we got that one and then we're like, here we go. This is gonna be a fun day. And then this happened. Crickets. Like nothing for hours, for several hours. And we're like- And we listed a bunch the Whatever, day and we've listed- 28 the day before. Yeah, we don't, so, so the experiment's not over yet, hold on. But, but we don't, we don't list every single day because we do dollar auctions. So if we're doing a lot of dollar auction, eBay gets put on hold. If we're doing a lot of eBay, dollar auction gets put on hold. It kind of evens out over the course of a week or a month or whatever. So we're okay with that. But we have been listing a lot of things on eBay lately. So, you know, it's whatever. So it was crickets pretty much the whole afternoon till late afternoon. We're like, well, this is kind of lame. So then we did get a sale and that is in box KK. All right, we got a sale for rust-free knife and silverware set. I'm gonna post the picture of it set unwrapping these and getting these out because I'll actually probably ship it in this bundle. Um, so these knives sold for $20. Uh, thing is though, these were not on the sale. These were new listings from two days ago, maybe. So, so that sold 20 bucks. Actually, yeah, Donna said she listed that the same day. So that was a same day listing. Uh, next up thing that sold, then we got another sale, and we're like, oh, what's that? Cha-ching, what's that? And as you saw in the last video, there's the KISS CD box set. That was a few minutes after you listed it. Yeah, it was not that long after I listed it. It sold for $39.99. So another sale, that's great, but it was also a new listing again. And we let it, went along, and after not too long, there was another sale, and this was in the same box as the knives. This was in the last video too. The only other real thing I bought there at the garage sales, little Halo figures. This I paid two bucks for, sold for $11.99, and it's going to California. Also, the Kiss uh, box set is going to Indiana, by the way. We're still looking for Alaska, trying for that Alaska, and I did not look ahead. I don't know where these things are going, so we're hoping it's today. And then after that Halo, Halo figures sold, nothing, that was it. That was the end of our day. We sold one, two, three, four, five, five things since that we redid all that. One of them was one of those listings. So to recap, we had 500 items that were all like 2021, 2022. They were on sale for 30% off, no offers, and promoted at 7% took all 500 listings, gave them new item numbers, new refreshed listings, whatever, and now they were only promoted 2%, but they had offers on and they were 15% discount, okay? And we sold one thing. We did get like 21 in that time period, There, uh, but like yesterday evening I sent offers for like 21 items and almost all of them were those listings, but no sales on them. We did have some sales this morning, we're not done, but that was the end of Friday. That was the end of Sunday after we made this huge change and we're ready to sell stuff. So we can get into today's sales and show you what sold today from that because obviously the, the experiment isn't over, but this is like the first 24 hours, right? But before we do that, I want Donna to talk to you about something super important. All right, Donna, it's your time to shine. I want you to show them what you put on eBay. Oh! You guys, I promised that I would get some of your coffee cozies up for you to see. And so I finally got them listed. And so all you have to do is search Happy Heart Treasures and it comes up Happy Heart Treasures sticker and coffee cup cozy. And this bundle is $5. And if, you know, so you get a sticker and you also get a coffee cozy that I've made. And there are several different patterns. These are just some examples. And these go around like your Starbucks cups or your scooters or whatever your local coffee house is. Yep. Donna makes these. 
She has a whole bunch of them listed. Like she has like 10 or 12 of them listed. Yeah, and we'll see how that goes. And as I get the Halloween ones done that we talked about with the little ghost buttons, I'll put those on for Halloween and everybody's pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> All right, and what are you charging for that? $5. And with that, you'll get a coffee cup cozy and a sticker. They make great um, gifts. You stick in your favorite coffee house you know, gift card and give them as gifts to people you work with or to your favorite daughter or. <laughs> yeah, so $5 plus shipping. Plus right? shipping, yes. Okay. All right, so that's on there. So if anyone wants to support Donna and her venture and buy them by themselves or their friends a cool little coffee cozy. Koozie or cozy? It's called a cup cozy, but it's a koozie. So it depends on how you want to say it. It's a koozie it. for your coffee. It's a koozie for your coffee. All right. Which makes you cozy. All right. <laughs> All right. So those are up and running, right? Those are up and running. All right. Yep, cool. Just search Happy Heart Treasures and they'll come up. All right. Awesome. All right. Let's continue on. We've had two sales so far today. Um, and let's see if either one of those are from our big overhaul of listings. The first one was in box KK as well, which is not a good sign. It's a good sign that it's a sale, but yes. it's not from the listing. This is a brand new listing you did, what, These yesterday? These things that sold were listed all at the same time, all in the same day. Yeah. All in the same box. Yeah, this is the M&M's Kurt Adler uh, Fun Lights. Those sold for $23.99. Yep. And they're going to Oregon. Okay. Not Alaska. Did we have anything go to viewers with messages this time? Uh, no. Okay. Not that I've seen yet. All right, and then the last thing that sold is in box 77. 77. And this I got at a garage sale, white hat. Oh, right there, right PGA there. Oak Hill 2023 hat. That I uh, took an offer for $12 plus shipping, and that is going to New York, not New York City, but New York New State. New York so State. That is also not from the overhaul right there, because that I just got like two months ago. So Donna, so far, what do you think of our experiment? That's where we're at right now. What do you think? I think that our percentage is too low. <laughs> you think so? Mm -hmm. One item out of 500? Yes. No, I think that our promoted percentage should be higher than 2%. Okay. And that is a discussion to have. So that's the thing that we were talking about this morning. If we'd have left it at 7%, A, A, A is it just too low a percentage so it's not getting seen as a new listing? Or B... Is eBay punishing me because I lowered the percentage on those listings? I don't think eBay punishes. I, I don't know. And there's the argument out there. I'm sure somebody watching this, I guarantee you somebody watching this. Oh, by the way, this is funny. Thank you all. Even the people that comment negative things. We were having lunch for my mom's birthday Saturday. And we were telling the funny stories about how we suck and the negative feedback we got. And either my brother or my brother-in-law said congratulations you've made it we're like what he says once you get the nasty messages the rude messages that means you've made it so we've made it <laughs> but anyway <laughs> whatever <laughs> and then we woke up the next morning to your wife's bossy <laughs> oh yeah yeah we got and i don't want to just focus on that but we had one that just said your wife is bossy and i responded back and i said you misspelled awesome thanks for watching <laughs> so anyway <laughs> Isn't he awesome? <laughs> so, some people could look at this and they could say, well, then obviously your 500 items are trash. They're junk. They're oh, crappy items. Be. Now, I will say some of them are. I absolutely agree. It's a reason they haven't sold yet. But, like I said, when we put everything on sale, we continuously get two to $300 in sales every month from these items. So, I don't think they're all trash. I think there's... I know that there's good stuff. It's a wide variety. We're everything sellers. There's a super wide variety of items from clothes to, I, I don't know what all, but there's tons of stuff. So it's not all trash. Some of it is, and some of it maybe should just be taken down and put on dollar auction or So you whatever. reduced the beginning price by 15%. Yes. Yeah, the actual asking price, plus they can send offers, which mm -hmm. so they could, you know, they could send an offer if something's $20 and now it's 17 or whatever that'd be. They could send an offer for 10 bucks. Maybe we'll take it, you know, maybe we'll counter offer at 15 or whatever, but we haven't gotten a single offer except for the Build-A-Bear for five bucks. I so, think we need to promote it higher. So she thinks that's what, and she wanted to do that this morning, change the promotion to 7%. 
And I said, let's make this video, let's put it out there, let's leave it at 2%, and let's get some feedback and see what other sellers or other people's opinions are. Do you think it would help us to put it back at 7%? What do you think of this overall experiment at all? Do you think... We should have are, left are you it surprised? at 30% off, maybe? Are you surprised that... You know, we haven't had more activity. We're shocked because we got told, we've been told from several people, if you do this bulk thing and renew, that you're going to see a lot of activity. And we have seen one, not zero, one activity. No other offers, no other nothing. So anyway, that's where we're at on it. We'll see what happens. Maybe we're going to have an awesome week and sell a bunch of that stuff. But so far, that's where we're at. Now, let's go back to the beginning. Let's show the rest of the things that sold before Sunday. So we can get with our day and I can get this stuff shipped out. All right, Donna, in box K. Hey. Let's be right over here. And in box K, you're going to look for a little Lego bunny rabbit. There she is. Right there. That come from a garage sale, paid $2 for it. New Legos that sold for $14.95. And that is going to Ohio. Okay. Next item is going to be in box B. 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 All right, in here you're going to find a phone case. Oops, right there on top. You can sell phone cases? This is, yeah, you just can't sell OtterBox phone oh, cases. Oh, okay, okay. This is UAG brand phone case uh, for iPhone 7, 6S, and iPhone 8. That sold for $14.50. Came from Iowa, and it's going to South Dakota. The next thing we sold twice. We sold it and showed it a month ago, and it sold again. Let's get box 74. Hmm. All right, in box 74, I actually left it in the box it was shipped in so that I have the box and the packing and everything. And let's not even unwrap. Well, yeah, let's take it out of there. These are the chandelier, like, hanging crystal light things. I don't know if you can even really see that in there. Chandelier lamp prisms, four-inch prisms. And these sold once, and the buyer got them, and the little metal on the end was gold, and he needed black. So he sent them back. We relisted them and they sold again for $40, which I think was the same price as the first yeah, one. Yeah. And this time it's going to Florida. Okay. Next thing I was looking through cassettes and I listed some cassettes and two of them sold right away. We got right here. These are cassette singles. So just like the single songs, one is Firehouse, Love of a Lifetime. I remember my buddy Mike him and his girlfriend at the time, that was their song. It was so sweet. <laughs> uh, Firehouse, good band in the 80s. Was that still 80s or 90s? Early 90s. It had to I be think. 90s. You were still children in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. REM, Losing My Religion, that is also a cassette single. And the two of those sold for $10 a piece, so $20 for the two cassettes going out the door. We have four more things, and they are all Donna listings. So let's get to box LL1. This is stuff that I just listed in this box. Yes, and in here there is a party light, Tiffany style tea light oh, lamp that's thing. that's sold already. It's beautiful. Okay. All right, let's get let's put the box away and get this out of the package. We can show this to you. Okay. Shout out again to Ladonna for our adjustable height table now for my shipping table, which is higher than the old one. It's gonna be a little nicer when I'm shipping. Okay, this came from the clean out we did for our friends, with our friends. They came across an opportunity to clean out house, and they said we could have first pick. Look at that. And it goes, you put a tea light. This is a, what's the brand again? Uh, party light. Party light, yeah, that's it. Put a tea light in there, and it'll light it up all pretty and stuff, and now I get to ship that without breaking it. Yeah, but the thing is, this comes off. Yeah. So you can wrap that inside yeah oh i'm not concerned i like i will i'll get it there safely yeah i might use a lot of bubble wrap but i'll get it there <laughs> you've been better on your bubble wrap yep absolutely okay all right the next thing this was a garage sale find it on she was super excited when she found it because it's fun oh uh, wait a minute first of all the tea light is going to maryland not alaska oh shucks okay okay this was a fun thing for Donna and is in box 87. She got a garage sale for 50 cents. Okay. All right, we're looking for a plushie. There you go. Is it him? Yep, it's him. You know, this guy got him for 50 cents. He's a tie. But I believe 
He's a Thai Tempest Gold Dragon plush stuff beanie borders, it says. And I think they might have been anchored. His wings might have been anchored here. So I priced him a little bit less. But he still sold for $20.99. Yeah, he's awesome. And he's going to Colorado. Cool. Two more things. The next one is in box 21. 21. That's not very heavy at all. Is it empty? That Ooh. might be. Uh, right there, the green. This comes from a stay sale for $2. Green and white striped uh, West Point pepper, pepper L pillowcases. Right there. $14.25. And that is going to South Carolina right there. Nice. And then one more thing, Donna. This was a fun sale for you also in box 60. Okay. This was our highest price sale of the weekend. There it is. Let's it's see. this. It's a Dooney and Burke. Yep. You got that garage sale for how much? Ten. Ten dollars. Yep. And it sold for a hundred and fifteen dollars plus shipping, and it is going to Missouri. Nice. So that's it. That's everything from the weekend. Not a great weekend of sales, but we appreciate all of them. And I mean, it adds up. It does, and that's good. But we have done a lot on dollar auction too. But you know, hopefully, it's going to pick up some. So, what do you think, Donna? Do you think you already said about the thing? Like, yeah, change that up a little bit. But you know what? A sales, a sales, a sales. So thank you all for that. Yeah. And again, huge shout out to everyone that has been watching us from day one. Yeah, because <laughs> it, seriously, it, we couldn't finish the or video. Or even year one. We couldn't finish the video. It was so bad. Because we looked at it and we were looking at how many viewers, like in that about that time. We 24, were at, we were at like, 67. Well, we were around like 80 to 100 views on those videos. And one said 80. And I'm like, oh, that's a little bit low. Let's let's check that one out. And it was so bad. I think that's all we got for today. That's it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And if you want to, you know, support the channel a little bit, look for a coffee cozy and a sticker. Just there you go. search Happy Heart Treasures. There you go. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. We appreciate all of you. I am Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.